Hey, how would you like to know what a millionaire invests in during times of recession? Hi everyone, my name is Shaq Hussain and in today's video, I wanna share with you six things that I'm investing in. And I have a few notes here, so I'm gonna be reading off them. The greatest wealth that you can make is during these times. You know, most people are gonna be contracting, they're gonna be scared, inflation is at an all time high. The best ways for you to overcome this is if you follow even just one of these six things. Again, this is not financial advice, this is personally what I'm doing, so I'm gonna just hook you up with these six things. And the first one is real estate, okay? Right now I'm looking at commercial real estate around London, UK, because this is where I live. Between this and Dubai, the property prices are really high here, but they also provide a crazy return. So I really like commercial buildings, especially if there's office space, uh, downstairs and then there's rental apartments upstairs so that's what i'm really looking for over the next say one to two years to buy and then the next one is luxury penthouses okay so one thing that i've seen is that there's always a market for people that have excess cash right there's always a market for the high-end luxury buyer i myself i've been very blessed you know i became a millionaire when i was 23 years old and over the last decade of making tens of millions of dollars i love to live in penthouses and I wanna invest in buying these penthouses so that I know uh, when it comes down to being able to rent them out, I can charge a crazy premium, you know, sometimes $10,000, $15,000 per month because I have experience living in amazing penthouses, whether it's in the river or Canary Wharf area, whatever the case is, you know, uh, penthouses is a must. My biggest piece of advice, well, a couple of pieces of advice when it comes to real estate investing from what I learned, because, you know, I kind of grew up with it. My dad uh, has been investing in real estate for many, many decades, um, is the money is usually made when it's bought okay not when it's sold so you want to buy when people are desperate to sell when there's a market downturn kind of like now this is the best time to buy another thing is you know if you're just getting into property maybe you can just buy a normal property apartment single family multi-family all of these things but if you're an entrepreneur like i am and you are open to thinking outside of the box think about how can you add value to a property? So for example, you know, if I was to buy a property for a million pound in the UK, which is maybe about 1.3 million US dollars, okay, there's only so much I can do with it. But if I was to, because I'm an entrepreneur, I do live events, we sell courses, we sell high ticket programs, we do in-person masterminds, we do uh, seminars all over the world. You know, uh, my company has spent close to three quarters of a million dollars uh, just on hiring event hotels and because we've hosted events all over the world we've spent a lot of money on this right like well over three quarters of a million dollars just on probably hiring spaces and my teams and whatnot if i was to buy a property in the uk i would look hey can i also host seminars in this building can i invite people to come in and maybe speak at these co at the conferences that i'm going to be hosting at my event well, one of my friends a guy called rob moore they own this company progressive property and i've seen these guys do it a whole nother level right they own the entire buildings upon buildings and then they do seminars and courses and workshops and they run crazy i think hundreds and hundreds of events every single year so that's number one number two is my one probably one of my favorite is crypto which is i've been investing in crypto since early 2016 ish 17 all the way until now i've made a lot of money i've also lost a nice chunk of money i've learned a lot of lessons and uh, for the next you know one to two maybe even three years until the next bull market happens I am committed to just DCAing, dollar cost averaging, buying the highs, the lows, whatever the case is. Again, no financial advice, but this is what I plan to do. Next one is private businesses. These are business owners that are probably doing a million to five million ish, and they're struggling with traffic, they're struggling with conversions, scaling, hiring sales teams, traffic generation, expanding into different markets, into different countries. These are all things that I've personally uh, built up a lot of expertise on, so I can add a lot of value. Again, those are the businesses that I'm, I wanna be investing in. I typically look for businesses that are at that one to five mil, uh, up to about 20 mil, because that's where I can add most value and help them scale with an extra eight figures or even help them get to nine figures. Currently, I'm an investor in over 50 plus companies. I like to 
to be involved with businesses and investments that I can also add a lot of value to. So ask yourself, you know, uh, are there private businesses that you can invest in? And they could be even boring businesses, uh, which I'm slowly becoming a fan of, like laundromats or car washes or barber shops. You know, these things typically don't get affected much by recession. You know, people will still go and cut their hair, right? People will go and wash their clothes. People will go and wash their cars. So these are also businesses that I'm fascinated by. Uh, number four, NFTs, okay, uh, I have spent around $250,000-ish buying NFTs in the last year. Some of them have just been horrible investments. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I spent $24,000 buying this one, Gents Croquet Club by this guy, Iman Gadzi. If you've never invested in NFTs, try looking at them. Yesterday, I bought another NFT uh, from Ty Lopez, actually. This is an area that I'm very fascinated by. I'm definitely going to be investing in this. Next one, number five. Most people know me from funnels.com or World academy.com or one of my online businesses or my book backpack millionaire but in 2022 and beyond i'm really committed to not just building funnels for clients this is one of the things that we do at our agencies but actually taking an equity in their business so for example we help clients go from zero to six figures and then six to seven figures and some of them have gone on from doing seven to eight figures now multiple times in the past because i wanted to stay focused or because i didn't want to just add on an extra thing on my plate. I've said no, and I've seen, you know, companies go from zero to 50K a month to $400,000 a month. I had a student recently tell me, and he just bought not one, but a couple of Lamborghinis, this guy, Mike, you know, he's scaled over $1 million per month. And so now I wanna partner up with my students, right? Funnels.com, if you're one of my students, or if you're gonna be one of my students and you do well, then there's a good chance that I'll probably come in as a strategic uh, advisor, investor, partner, equity partner, whatever, and I wanna be, a part of the next level of upside. So I'm really looking forward to this part of my life. And the last one, and probably the most important one, and the one that you wanna make sure that you focus on during this times of recession, you know, crazy pandemic. What I'm doing is I am making sure that I up-level my skills, okay? If you want to scale up your business, you have to skill up. Where you wanna to get to and where you are at right now, the difference is lack of skill acquisition. So you wanna commit yourself to becoming a learning master, someone who's always going out, learning new skills, like someone who's always going out, developing new habits, new routines. All of these things will help you dramatically increase your business. You know, over the last decade, people ask me, how did you go from zero to 30 million before turning 30 years old? And one of the reasons is because of my network. You know, your network is your net worth. I am also joining lots of other different masterminds. And in the past, I've spent over $600,000 uh, just in joining masterminds, all of the top masterminds in the world. And some of them have paid ridiculous ROI back. So this is the last one that I'm gonna focus on and I'd recommend that you do, uh, which is up-leveling your skills. Whether it's taking a new course, whether it's joining a mastermind, buying coaching, whatever it is that you know you need to do to get to the next level. So with that being said, those are Six, no, six, seven, six. Those are the six eight key areas of investing that I'm doing as a millionaire. Hope this helps. If you like content like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. What are you investing in? Let me know. I'll see you in the next video.